my name's Elizabeth and today I'm going to be talking about five plants that I really became fond of in 2019. I got some inspiration to make this video by Harley G and Nick Pileggi. It's going to be a super hard decision for me to make because I love all of my plants but these five plants have really shown me how amazing plants can be. These five plants I look at every day and I'm just amazed by and in no specific order my five favorite plants of 2019. This is Big Al guys. Um, you might have seen it before. I was sitting right next to it and I call it Big Al because Big Al is huge. <laughs> I mean as Kaylee Allen does head test yes <laughs> that is what you want out of a big owl giving you a better view of big owl I have grown this guy from bulb and it's looking so amazing still I never thought that it'd be still kicking so well you know so I actually had this outside um, during the summer and the spring um, and I just decided to bring it in. So I actually thought I'll just bring it inside and if it dies, I'll keep the bulb and I'll plant it again next year. If it doesn't die, guess what? I have a humongous plant and Honestly, it doesn't even get that much light here. It's in the back of my room. Yes, I have a big window, but it's like a northeast facing window. So it's really not getting that much direct light. And it's, it's, I would say it's my biggest plant right now. It definitely is my biggest plant. So my other plant would be this Rapidophora tetrasperma. This would be my favorite leaf right here. And I think you know why. It has that pimple and I am so excited about it. I simply love, love, love this plant. I've been looking for it for over a year. And when I got it, I would tell you it was about this tall, about this tall. It's starting to like climb up my window and I'm just planning for it to climb all the way up and around my window. That's my plan for this guy. I literally got it maybe a month ago and I'm telling you it was about this tall and it's already grown all this way. This is a brand new leaf. The leaves get bigger as they mature. Therefore, it's one of my favorite plants of 2019. So here we got another alocasia to keep going with the alocasia family. Yes, these leaves aren't huge, but these leaves need a little bit more light, which is why I'm giving them their own light source right now. This is a grow light. They sell this on Amazon. They're white grow lights and they work wonders. Um, I decided to keep it be alive because it's so beautiful. I actually had this outside during the summer and um, I just had it more as like a garden plant. I mean, the patterns in this plant and it's the green in it. I, I always say that it reminds me of a frog. I mean, look at that. I cannot breathe. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes, definitely one of my favorite plants of 2019. It had some beautiful big leaves all throughout the summer and it still has some new growth coming in. They come in like this and then when they mature, they just, you know, proliferate and just become these beautiful wonders. So another one of my favorites of 2019. So another plant I wanted to talk about that's been doing great would be my philodendron lichens. This guy has been growing like crazy this year. I mean, I got it um, off of a four inch pot and it was super tiny. I'm telling you, it was 
probably right up to the pot. It was probably right up to here. And it's just been giving me all of these beautiful, beautiful leaves. I wish there was better lighting in here um, because these are super velvety, super pretty. And when they first come out, they're more um, of like, like this. So this one looks a little bit beat up. My cat's probably got to it. Um, as long plants do. Um, but yeah, this one has just been giving me so many beautiful, beautiful, just super velvety, healthy leaves. And I love it. So this right here is my bird of paradise and I got it from Harley G. She has a store with her mom and it's just beautiful. It's been thriving, it's been doing great. This leaf is still one of the old leaves and it's very pretty. And I have a new leaf coming right over here and I'm so excited for it. I believe this is still one of the older leaves as well but it's been doing great and it's, you know, I really thought this would be harder to care for because it's such a tropical plant, but it's honestly not that bad. It loves this spot and it's been growing and it's been doing great. So I would recommend you get a bird of paradise. I know a lot of people don't have space for it, which is why I love this guy. It's the perfect small bird of paradise. It's just what you need and it's been much easier than I thought. I love it. Bird of Paradise. So yeah, those were my favorite plants of 2019. Um, so Big Owl over here, super easy care. Um, doesn't mind lower light conditions, you know? I mean, I really don't think most people know that because most alocasia really do need brighter light, but this guy does not mind it. It's definitely a plant that needs to be indoor more often. I know that it's probably viewed as more of like an outdoor plant. If I didn't have these, I, I have two of them. I feel like my house wouldn't look so jungly. I feel like it would look less jungly just because I, these are like the two biggest plants or one of the big two of the biggest plants that I have in my entire collection so they're definitely something I wouldn't give up and I feel like more people need to know about it. My Raphidophora tetrasperma is something I've been looking for for over a year. I would second Becca Della Plant's statement when she said that Raphidophora tetrasperma is the plant of 2019 because everybody wanted this plant and all of a sudden it just showed up everywhere. Guess what? Everyone got it, including me. So I am just so happy that it did and it could not have shown up at a better time. And moving on to the philodendron micans, I definitely had the philodendron micans in my wish list before I got it, which is awesome. I was really excited to get it this year. It's just grown. All it's done is grown. The leaves have not gotten much smaller, you know, the leaves are still the same big size that they were. And they're just like, you know, it's just taken off. It's super long and it looks beautiful. It's velvety and it just looks so majestic. I love the micans. Another plant that I would say that I really enjoyed having in 2019 is my bird of paradise. I got from Harley G uh, actually a few months ago, maybe maybe about a year ago. But anyway, I've been enjoying this plant. It's been thriving ever since I got it. It's getting, I, I, you know, some people say it's a slow grower, but I've just been getting one leaf and then another leaf. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my five favorite plants of 2019. And if you like this kind of content, let me know. Please give me a like, subscribe. So please just comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Um, yeah, any questions, anything at all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!